Hello, and welcome back to my Q&A video series about the Pandas library in Python. And the question for today comes from an email I received from Rayed, and he says, can you please do a short video on creating Pandas data frame objects from NumPy arrays and then writing to a CSV file? I had problems submitting the Titanic problem on Kaggle, but later found some code that I copied to get the job done. Okay, excellent question. So uh, let's start at the beginning here. What is Kaggle? So Kaggle is a, uh, a popular platform for doing competitive machine learning, okay? And what is machine learning? Uh, in a sentence, I would say that machine learning is the semi-automated extraction of knowledge from data, okay? Now, I'm not gonna focus in this video on talking about machine learning. Uh, I have a video called, What is Machine Learning and How Does It Work? I'll link to it in the description below if you're interested in learning more, okay? So, in this video, I am going to focus on how to use pandas in partnership with scikit-learn for machine learning, okay? So, uh, as always, we need an example data set, and I'm gonna use the data set from Kaggle's Titanic competition. You can follow along, and by the end of this video, you will have a submission file for Kaggle. Okay, so we're gonna import pandas as pd, and then uh, I'm gonna create a data frame called train, and it'll be pd.readcsv, and I'm gonna pass it the URL bit.ly slash kaggle train, okay? And it's called train because this is our training data. It's the data that our model is going to learn from, okay? So let's look at the head. And what we have is um, uh, each row represents a passenger aboard the Titanic. And the Titanic was a ship that sank a long time ago. So uh, each passenger, it has some attributes of that passenger, as well as this column survived, which is one if the person survived and zero if the person did not. So the goal of this competition is uh, is for the test set, which we'll get to later, for the test set, predict survival based upon other characteristics of the passenger, okay? So first thing we need to do is create our feature matrix X. These are the features, the columns that our model is going to learn from, okay? So uh, I'm gonna actually just create a list, a Python list called feature calls, and it's gonna be a list of strings, and I've selected P class and parch, uh, which stands for parents and children, number of parents and children. P class is for passenger class. Um, I'm just creating a Python list, uh, and this is these are the two columns I've selected as my features. So I need to create X, my feature matrix, and we're just gonna say train.loc, which is how I select rows and columns from the data frame. So I want all rows, and I want the feature calls columns, okay? So this is a data frame, a pandas data frame I've created, and we can check the shape, and it is 891 rows by two columns, okay? so. There's my features. Now I want to create my response vector, also known as the target vector, the thing you are trying to predict. And that's the survived series. So I'm just gonna say y equals train.survive, okay? Now, this, as I said, is a pandas series, and we'll check the shape, and it's 891 uh, by nothing. It's, it's got only got one dimension. Okay, so X and Y are pandas objects. There's no need to actually convert them to NumPy arrays. Um, and in fact, scikit-learn will understand the X and Y objects as long as they're the right shapes 
and they are fully numeric, okay? So no need to convert them to different object types. All right, now we're ready to build our scikit-learn model. And I'm not going to explain this code because it would take quite a while. I actually have a video series, which I'll link below, um, called Introduction to Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn. It's four hours long, and I, I would love for you to check it out if you're interested in learning about machine learning. OK, so here's my uh, quick code to create a uh, classification model. So I'm going to say from sklearn dot linear uh, linear model import logistic regression which is a classification model then I'm going to instantiate it logistic regression okay and then I'm going to fit the model to my training data log reg dot fit x y okay so uh, we have now fitted our machine learning model and I'm going to return to some pandas code. So we need to read in our test data. Okay, The test data is the data we're going to make predictions on. And uh, so I'm going to say test equals pd.read csv um, bit.ly slash kaggle test. Okay, And if we check out the head, we will see that uh, it looks very similar except it is missing the survived column. And the reason for that is because we are predicting that. We don't know the survived column for these people. That is what we are predicting. Okay, So I need to create an, a new x, so I'm going to call it x new, um, from the testing data. Okay, So uh, I'll say test.loc all rows uh, and these two feature columns, okay? And we'll check the shape. Whoops, uh, x new dot shape. And it is 418 rows by two columns. So there's 418 observations in the testing data. We need to make 418 predictions, okay? So we're ready to make our predictions. One more line of scikit-learn code. Um, and I'm going to say new pred class, meaning for this new data, uh, what are the predicted classes? It's a classification problem. And I'll just say log reg dot predict x new. Okay. Now, um, I've actually got everything I need. I just need to put it in a CSV file. Uh, Kaggle asks for a CSV file with two columns. The first column is going to be the passenger ID from the testing set. So test.passenger ID. And it's just these numbers. It's a pandas series. Okay. And then the second thing it wants is the predicted classes. So new pred class. And it's just a bunch of zeros and ones, um, our 418 predictions. Okay. So how do I create a CSV file with these two columns? Um, I'm actually just going to use the data frame constructor, so pd.dataframe. And uh, there's lots of different types of objects you can pass to a data frame, and it will figure out how to create uh, the data frame. Uh, you could pass it a NumPy array. You could pass it a list of lists. I will cover that in a future video. But for today, I'm going to pass it a dictionary. Okay, and I'm going to say uh, passenger ID colon test dot passenger ID. Okay, and then I'm going to say survived colon new pred class. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm saying I want two columns that should be called passenger ID and survived, and then I'm going to put uh, this will be the test.passenger ID are the values that I'll put in that series. New pred class are the values that I'll put in this series. And um, pandas will automatically align them next to one another. Okay. So we create that, and here's what it looks like. Now, uh, one thing I need to make sure 
is that passenger ID is the first column. Now, dictionaries are unordered, so it's impossible to guarantee that passenger ID will come first. So actually, the easiest way to ensure a particular column is the first one in the data frame is to set it as the index. So I'm going to just say dot set index uh, passenger ID. Okay. Uh, so I've accomplished. So all I was trying to do is make sure it is the very first column. There are other ways to do it. I just like this way. Okay. Uh, final step is we're uh, just going to use a data frame method called two underscore CSV. And all you have to do with two underscore CSV is to just pass it the name of a file that you want to create. So I'm going to just say sub.csv, which is short for submission, a Kaggle submission. Okay. So when I run that line of code, it creates that CSV in my working directory. Um, it automatically includes the index of the data frame as the first column. If you ever want to exclude the index, that's just a, um, a parameter to 2CSV that you can use. Okay. So if you've been following along, you could submit this file to Kaggle right now. It's not going to perform very well, but my goal in this video is to show you the workflow for using um, uh, Pandas and Scikit-Learn together. Okay. So as always, I'm going to end with a bonus. And uh, here's the bonus. Um, have you ever wanted to save a Python object, such as a data frame, to disk? Okay. So um, there's uh, one way you can do that just in Python for any Python object. But with data frames, um, uh, we are going to use something, uh, a method called to pickle, because the objects are called pickle objects. Okay. So we'll just say train dot two underscore pickle, and all you have to pass it is the name of the file you want to create, and I'll just say train dot pkl. So I'm just taking the train data frame and saving it to disk. I could put it on a flash drive, bring it to a different computer, something like that, and load it right up um, without you know going through all the steps I had to do to create the data frame. So I'll pickle it, that's what it's called. And then uh, when you want to read it into pandas, we're just going to say pd.read pickle. Okay? And again, we just pass it that same file name, and it will look for that file in the working directory and read it in. And we've now got our data frame back. Okay. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, as always, please click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, please leave me a uh, question or a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to uh, hear what you have to say. And uh, again, that's it. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon.